Yeah. Um, I will just, we can let anybody join as they come to us, but I will just say that we, are, well, I am meeting on the uh, traditional lands of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, um, and I pay respect to their elders, uh, past, present and emerging, and any other Aboriginal elders from the different lands on which we meet. Um, I would like to introduce today um, Uwald Kavam, who's come to us. He's the Senior Advisor and Market Manager for Operations in Nordic Countries for Motortech. We did hear from Motortech um, when we very first started the network, so probably two years ago, just about. Um, and we're having an update today. Um, Uwald has very kindly offered to step in when our, our speaker had cancelled last week. So thank you very much for joining us. I'm not sure what time it is for you in Norway, but I imagine it's quite early in the morning. Thank you. It's seven o'clock in the morning here. Uh, so, so it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's about time to start today. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, I'm really happy to be here. Um, I'm um, Ruel, as you said, I'm father of four fine boys and, and a grandfather of two daughters. So I can connect with you who, who await your first one. Um, uh, it's a lovely ride. And now I'm going to invite you to a joyful journey with Motitech from uh, the city of Bergen on the west coast of Norway through the Nordics. We are going to step into UK, to Canada, and um, um, back to Norway in about 45 minutes, and then we have a Q&A session after. Um, the company Motitech was started in back in 2013 as a result of a successful project in the city of Bergen, um, where the people that work with older people and people with dementia in the care homes started a project where they bought this exercise bike you can see here in the picture uh, they wanted to increase the physical activity at the uh, units it it's a good idea because they they bought these bikes where you can actually sit in your own chair or a wheelchair and get help from a helping engine as you paddle but as you know regardless of age and and functional level it's it's still pretty boring just to sit to paddle <laughs> Um, and, and it didn't really work that well, uh, especially it was hard for people with dementia to, to come to the exercise, to stay through it and repeat it. And then they connected our company, Motitech, to, to a pilot project in the city. And um, together the, with them, we, we of course want to do something about the, the challenge that the aging population give us. Um, there's a growth in the aging population, there will be a shortage of professionals and lack of resources or, or budgets. Uh, so we need to try to connect with or, or establish solutions that helps us avoid costs, save time and increase life quality and quality of work at the same time. Um, and that, that's, uh, that's the challenge that we face and I guess you also have to to battle in, in Australia. Um, what we did in Bergen, together with, with the people in the units, the staff and, and, and the end users, we focused on abilities instead of disabilities. And it may look like this. Every day when she's been on the bike, she tells you about somewhere else she's been. California, Switzerland, Singapore, Rome, Israel. Jean, come back to bottom here. Right, my love. Okay. We're going to go to Hong Kong today. How about Italy? Italy. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I come up here to do 30 minutes and they put the film on. And each time I try and do more. I want to tell the people to get out of the way. <laughs> When coming into a care home, typically people become very inactive. The inactivity would be the reason for rapid health decline, more than actual age itself. Judith, make sure he behaves himself now, sat on his bike. A piece of technology like this 
uh, will really help in terms of exercise. So exercise is generally going to be good for keeping your limbs moving. It's been really extraordinary to see my mother change because three years ago she was pretty much bedridden and to see her now exercising on a daily basis I think this is extraordinary. I was in a wheelchair at one point. In the graduation the next thing it'll be an embarrassing. What really makes this different is that the video is in front of the bike is actually the key here. We build a video library, almost like a Netflix model, so people could choose to go traveling or they could find their local memories. I'm seeing places that I should never go to, which makes it even more interesting. You can visit places where they were born, places they might have visited as a child, and obviously then they engage in a conversation. This is really important for a resident with dementia, being able to go back in memories, revisiting places. Cycling initiative created by Motor Tech is a great piece of technology that helps those with dementia. At AXA, we run the Health Tech and New Awards, and last year we had two incredible winners in the category Innovations in Early Diagnosis of Dementia. All of the innovations we're seeing in dementia care are really exciting and will go a long way to improving the lives of those living with the condition. When I met Anne, she was a very, very scared lady, not great at making friends. So when we introduced Anne to the bike, it was like seeing a different, a different lady. Did you ever used to walk down this road? Yeah. Did you? Such a massive change in her confidence. She just can't wait to get down here and then mix with the other residents as well, which three months ago, I would never have believed. Oh, well done. We've reached the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Even residents I thought would never, ever dream of getting on this bike are actually enjoying it, which is fabulous. This is keeping me in trim, but I haven't done much today at all. Been chatting too much. <laughs> We uh, started with this pilot project back in the city of Bergen, my hometown, as I told you. Um, and there they did this 24-7 uh, uh, registration of behavior because they wanted to see, will the cycling session to our motivation films, will it do something with the whole um, whole day and night, not just the, just the cycling session? And the result in the pilot project in Bergen was so good that the city of Bergen, the municipality, rolled out the prototype in all their 42 units after the, the project. And when you know the, the budget in the care sector and the tough priorities they do, you know that this is not normal to do a pilot and go directly into implementation by, to all the 42 units in the city. So we understood that together with the staff in real environment, we have tapped into a, a tough challenge and created a solution that actually works. Um, in England, we did a large study, not a research project, but a study with over 24 units, more than 400 participants for two and a half year. It was a bit delayed by, by COVID, but the results are 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 really good. We used, for example, uh, international measurement tools as EQ5D, uh, a tool that measure um, life quality and how you cope with daily activities. Um, and we got significant significant score on that one. And they tried to see how how will this look into money when mon money talks. And then they saw that if you put one pound in Motiview, you will get a return of investment for three pounds. And that's pretty amazing as well. Um, the report from the project in in uh, England is, is available and, and we can send it to you if you want to read it. It's pretty nice reading. We both looked into how this affects the residents' lives and also um, the staff, what they thought about providing for physical activity to the to the people living at the residence. Um, we say that we give royal treatment for everyone. Uh, this is a, a session in Oslo where William and Kate were, were um, 
we're trying our concept. Um, and we did for them as we do for anyone. We connect with their story, their memory. So we talked to the embassy ahead of the visit and we went over to, to film where they study, where the pub that they met uh, and, and, uh, and uh, we put music on uh, that we knew that they liked. And when, when uh, they entered the session, they could connect with their own memories. They could see, ah, there were where my my apartment was. I was a student, and this was the pub that we met with with our friends and such. And at the end of the session, we actually put the song that I danced to at their wedding day. Of course, we triggered the memories, and they, she actually invited him to do a dance again. But this is not royal treatment for for just a a, a few people. This is what we do. We try to connect with people's journey to create this reminiscence and empower them as they reconnect with the memories and tell their stories and, and kind of um, grow as people and get, um, um, get um, it's like they get sound to, to a silent um, situation, you know, you sit in the, in the unit among a lot of people but the but when they uh, paddle our our uh, film routes, they can get sound to their personality and tell their stories, share their memories, and it's really empowerment and and gives a um, a lot of joyful talks in the units. Um, we started with four films on two DVDs actually. Today we have over two thousand films from uh, forty countries. And it's increasing by two to three hundred movies each year. Um, over fifty-five percent of the municipalities in Norway have at least one multi-view location. Uh, we have customers in eight nations now, over eight hundred units, and estimated we engage about eighteen thousand uh, seniors every day. Uh, we have office in Norway, in Canada, and UK. And we have been on the road for 10 years now. And still we have a renewal rate on our license by over 90%. And that's a that's a high score. And it tells us something about that this this works and it works year after year after year. And, and we're really happy to see that. Uh, some of the feedback, uh, I will not uh, use a lot of minutes on this one, but but um, um we, we get a lot of great stories and it's really an honor to tap into people's life and the reminiscence and, and see what's happening um, around the, the multi-view concept. Um, we started in care homes, uh, also um, long-time care for people with dementia. Um, we will stay there and we, we will also work at activity centers. Um, and day care centers for people with dementia living at home. They can they come to the center and can paddle the bike there. We are at senior centers. We are also in rehabilitation services where they take the multi-view con con uh, concept into the homes of people for an, an uh, re rehabilitation per period for some weeks and then they move the, the concept to another home where uh, someone needs rehabilitation. We are in home care and we are also in, in private homes and in uh, helping people with independent living. And our dream is to be in the whole scale from um, the care home and the long time care facilities and um, with the people that actually just want to postpone the whole need for help and short time and long term care um, to proactive uh, stay uh, with with um, good balance and an independent living. And I would guess for you as for us in Norway, um, we know that our residents above 67 will more than double towards 2060. And residents over 80 years will triple in this period. So we understand for us that we, we need concepts that help us uh, stay with good health and good physical uh, health and independent living as long as possible. Um, back in 2017, 
uh, our hometown Bergen was the host of the professional uh, um, uh, world championship. And that year we, we said, okay, we want to make the world's first and very own and, and the biggest as well uh, road walls for seniors. And we did. And every year uh, since 2017, we have arranged world road walls for seniors. Um, and it looks like this. There's no sound with that video. This is totally norm normal care homes, activity centers, senior centers. Um, uh, here are people with diabetes, anxiety, um, uh, outrage behavior, um, oxygen uh, tanks <laughs> on their backs, amputations, totally normal care homes. And we, we see that with Motiview actually changed the whole atmosphere from passive, inactive, to a party and a joyful journey. And really, they are competitive. Uh, everyone joining that has Motiview can join the, the, the Road Wars for Seniors for free. And everyone that participates gets a medal and a diploma. And for some people, it's the very first medal they get in their life. This lovely lady here, she is 104 years old. And this is our first medal in life. And if you see this guy with the, the, the trophy in the middle here, he has amputated both his legs. So he was paddling with his arms and he got on the third place that year. And he was a bit grumpy because he said, if the staff hadn't forced me out the day it was sun, I would be second. So let's see what he will do this year. Um, and a picture we really love is the picture above here, where you see there's a, a line of people with, with gate aids. Um, there's a queue waiting to, to be paddling with Motiview, uh, and it's a lovely one. Um, what we also see uh, is that Motiview doesn't just engage the people in the living room, but it engaged the whole unit for example, they can they can uh, make a goal. Let's say let's move the cycle from Bergen to Stockholm in Sweden, down to uh, to Copenhagen in in um, in uh, Denmark. We go to Paris and then we end in Barcelona in Spain. And as they paddle and 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 get to to Paris, then they say okay. When we are in Paris, we need champagne in our glasses. And we en when we enter Barcelona in Spain, we need tapas on the menu. So they connect with the kitchen and, and, and they, they uh, actually go travel as a unit um, and do this, this trip together. Um, I want you to meet Sylvia. Sylvia is uh, at a care home in UK and she expressed in a really lovely way what it means to her and what it feels to her to be able to paddle to the films from Motiview. I cycle twice a week, but if I can nip in for an extra one, I will do. I'm 96 years old. When you get to my age, which please God, I hope you do, it's excellent to be able to exercise. So being given the opportunity of going on a bike and feeling, well, you know, maybe I feel a bit younger today. My favourite place, Tel Aviv. I mean, how many people can sit here when it's raining outside, be in Israel? <laughs> Not many. <laughs> you feel as though you're actually in that place. 
So if I hadn't been to Italy, or if I hadn't been to this place, or that, I could choose it and then feel, oh my goodness, when I see my family tonight, I'll be able to say, guess where I've been today? I've been to Italy. Let's put it this way, it makes you dream a little bit. I really can't give you any way at all that I can say that I don't enjoy it. It's just feel feel alive. I'm gonna put it that way. Um I just want to introduce you to an add-on. It wasn't our idea. But uh, South and Norway, they had so many people that wanted to use Motiview that they actually they, they didn't have enough staff to do do the sampling sessions. Um, so they connected with with um, our new residents in the in the country, people moving to Norway, um, that had learned the language, but they need to train to use the language, and they need to be socialized with with um, with us. So they actually were allowed to come to the units for a period of time and to help the units with the, the meals and the motivu sessions. This was a win-win. The unit got um, a lot of new, new colleagues and the, the resident get to use the, the motivu and you connect uh, people from different countries together around the bike so it was not just sharing the moments for the people in and the stories from the people at the bike, but also our new new um, uh, fellow countrymen. Um, and in Berg, in my hometown, they actually um, broadened this program. So it, they didn't just invite people that have learned the language and needed to be socialized, but also people that had lost their jobs or dropouts from school that that didn't quite find a way into school again or into new jobs. So they was allowed to, to come to the units. They were uh, uh, given an um, you know an introduction. This is the home for people. This is okay. This is not okay at this place. Uh, you are actually entering the living living room for for the resi uh, residents here, um, and they got to meet a, a possibility for a new study, to be a, a healthcare worker or a nurse or a physiotherapist, or actually get a job. Um, and we got a Christmas card for them. <laughs> and here you see some of the classes, some of the, the, the people that had joined the program. And, and you know, um, often um, a unit care home have a pool of volunteers and relatives that, that connect and that help. And these guys are actually new people volunteering and helping. Um, so that's a lovely add-on just around the concept. It's a concept that is really suitable for volunteers to connect to um, and to, to help um, the paddling sessions. Um, if I should try to find a core in why was Motiview a success? I would say it, it, it's these three uh, circles here. The first one, one plus one equals three. I want that to remind us that we were really lucky. We were actually invited in to real environment, real people, real stories, real challenges. So we were co-creating Motiview together with the staff and the end users. And that was so good for us to, to to kind of be precise in what, what does the solution really need and what doesn't help at all. It's just fun for us to make. That was really good for us to co-create this in real environment with real challenges and real people. And when we have rolled out Multiview um, city for city and country by country, we have always kept the focus on the end users. That's our why. We are here to help them to get more physical active, uh, social connected and cognitive stimulated. So we kept, kept fo focus on their story, his story. We tell their story. Um, and, and they are in the center of what we do and they are our 
best guides to further develop the concept because they are um, yeah, really in the center of this and they should be. Uh, the third one is what I call the third voice of value and that's the study and the research. And we have done uh, a couple of study and some research projects um, and the results are, are, are good. Um, and we have done a, a project in, in Canada and this study I mentioned in, in the UK. Um, and we have got some awards. They are uh, just to put them up there. For us, that's just an expression that, that most of you actually work. And we see that every day, but it's good to, to be recognized and that people also feel that this is actually working. Um, I will end my session uh, bringing you back to the very best day of my time in Multitech. I've been in the company, company from 2015 and I was, um, I was sent to the southeast of Norway. You know this guy, Tom Cruise, he has made his movies Mission Impossible. Um, and he was actually shooting in one of his films in Norway. That was where the picture was from. Um, but I was sent to the southeast of Norway to do a presentation on the Multiview concept. And um, as we enter the facility, that was a facility for people with dementia. They asked us if it was okay for them to bring some of the residents to the session, you know, just as a joyable moment for them. And we said, sure, we would love to. And we are, we're, that's, that's totally normal for us. We're used to that. So they brought in three ladies, lovely ladies and a guy. They, they set themselves in a sofa nearby. And the minute I started my presentation, this uh, uh, guy, he got up off the sofa, was really frustrated. I was in, in his living room uh, and he didn't like it at all. It was, of course, the disease talking and it's okay. But he was really frustrated and, and confused. And, and, uh, and he, he left the room. Um, uh, for for, uh, for some time. At the end of these presentations, we normally, uh, when we are at the facility with the equipment, we ask if some of the residents would like to try it, you know, just to see um, there and then, does it work? How do you feel about it? At the end of this session, this guy came back in the living room and he was still confused. He didn't like me being there at all. Um, so when we were to paddle, we didn't go to the sofa through the, to the three lovely ladies uh, that were kind of on our team that day. But we asked, where is this guy from? And he was from a city uh, up more up north in Norway. And, and think about it. His short time memory was gone to the disease. Nothing made sense down there southeast in Norway. Every day he woke up nothing makes sense. So we asked, where is he from? He's from the city of Trondheim. And we got films from, from Trondheim, some lovely routes. So we asked him, the most confused and, and uh, uh, man in the room, do you like to see a movie from Trondheim? And he did. So we helped him to the bike and, and put on the film. And in the media, the film started, he recognized, ah, that's where the students are. For 20 minutes, he guided us street by street in, Con in Trondheim. He knew it all by name. And beside me that day, there was a man crying. He was from um, uh, Lions. It's, a, it's an organization that, that do a lot of good in Norway. And he was at the facility that day just to see if they would co-create uh, co and, and found uh, Motiview for the facility. And this guy who, who stand beside me crying, he said, this is my longtime friend. We grew up together. He doesn't recognize me anymore. And I have trouble telling you the streets of Trondheim. Uh, but for these 20 minutes, he, he's kind of back. Um, uh, to his own personality to say 
uh, and was was totally the pilot in the room. So he went from totally confused, uh, didn't like me in his living room, to be the one leading us street by street in Trondheim. Um, and it's 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 just an honor to be able to stand beside and see these moments again and again and again, sharing their stories and, and just tapping into their moments of joy uh, as they paddle with Motiview. Um, that's, um, that's my presentation. Um, um, so I will stop share here and now we can, if you have some questions or something, I can hopefully answer or, or we can get an interesting conversation. Thank you. Thank you, Ewald. That was a really, really interesting presentation. It's it's um, terrific to see how far the product has come and how far it's spread since our last presentation with mm. you. Um, it's obviously um, its merit is being seen across across different countries and and spreading out. Did you ever have any inquiries from Australia? I know there were several people at the last meeting. Yeah. Who are interested? <laughs> yeah, we have uh, one of our very best customers are at Harbinson. Um, I'm not the one working in, in Australia, but they are um, nearby S Sydney, I guess. They are really, really great. If you, uh, I can send you a link to their, their care homes. They, they really put out <laughs> the pictures there and, and are really a, a good ambassador for Motiview. They've been with us for several years, um, paddling the bikes. Um, and they're really connected when the, the Road Rules for Seniors are going. Uh, I should tell you, uh, last year, Road Rules for Seniors, we had 5,600 5, participants from seven countries paddling 183,000 kilometers in four weeks. That's 4.5 times around the globe. Um, that's a lot of joyful moments. And Harbison in, in Australia was was uh, one of our participants in the in the road roads. That's great to know. Did anyone have any questions for Uwald about the system or about its benefits or anything else? So I just wanted to know what they this costs. Um, uh, then I, uh, if I can use the Norwegian uh, uh, price, uh, and we can agree that probably there's a different price for for uh, Australia. Um, in Norway, they it's an annual license, and uh, Motiview is actually just an app you can download to uh, um, a tablets or or your computer. And then they connect with the, the TV screen through an HDMI cable or something. Um, and you can use whatever exercise equipment you want to use. There's no interaction between the, the films and the exercise equipment. So if you have pedal sets or, or exercise bikes that people like to use, let them use them. You can connect Motiview to it. Um, and we did that on purpose because we wanted uh, several people to be able to bike together. So if you have interaction for one and he wants to stop and you have your house just around the corner, then there will be grumpiness. <laughs> so it, the movies are going just slowly uh, in, in a good, good uh, kind of pace or speed. Um, so if you have exercise bikes uh, or, or you can use someone, uh, use the real cheap one. Someone used the bikes you've seen on the films, they cost a, a bit. Uh, but Motiview, uh, an annual license in Norway is uh, 32,000 Norwegian kroners. That gives you access to the whole library. Every support and services are included in that. So there's no extra cost. Everything is in that uh, annual license. Also, the participants in the Road Rules for Seniors and every new uh, movie we make that are integrated into the library, it's open for every customers. Because you will never know where people have their memories, you know. 
you can be in Australia this part of your life, but your story can be in Singapore or in Stockholm or in, in Toronto. So we open the library for everybody, every route we make. Uh, so about 30,000 Norwegian crowners uh, per year um, for the main license. And then we say, if you have a facility with different departments and you want to use the MotorView at all departments, then they need a main license to start. That's also because their music to every route we have connected with about eight or 10 million different soundtracks from the oldest to, to new international music. And they are um, made as kind of radio channels. So you can choose the 60s, the 70s country or whatever. Um, and to be allowed to play music at, at the institutions, that there's a cost with that. So you need a main license for every unit but if you want to scale it within the same unit, then you buy a sub-license. And that's just a fifth of the price, around 6,000 Norwegian crowners for the sub-licenses. And, and then they scale it that way. Yeah. Um, I just did a really, really quick Google conversion. That's about $7,000 Australian for the main license and about 1300 for the musical uh radio channels as well called it oh you know uh for the sub license the sub license is the sub whole license. concept yeah sub license yeah thank you yeah penelope oh she's going <laughs> <laughs> so you thanks so much for coming along any other questions before we let the world start his day What's the weather like there in Norway? Um, Sarah, oh. I had, sorry, I had one content. It's Kate from Adelaide in Australia. Just about who decides on the theme or topics of the content? And I, no. and I must apologise for being late. I'm sorry, I had another meeting. No, no problem. It's a good question. Uh, we create the rules, routes together with the units or the end users because the whole concept is to tap in to their memories. Okay. And the staff around the end users know them best, much better than us. <laughs> so they actually can say, we want a route from A to B in our home time or, or nearby. And then they send this to us and we send our film team uh, to, to make the route. So mm. we co-created um, together with the end users and the, the staff around them. It's great. And uh, that's one that's the one um kind of movies we make. And then we make what we call basic library. You know, we go film the Tower of London or the Eiffel Tower. A routes that make sense for, for anyone everywhere. Uh so we, we do that as well. Mm. Thanks, Kate. Any other questions? Who wants to start a project where we roll this out? Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> I, I'd be happy to send you the, the, the link to Harbinson. Um, if you have any questions, uh, uh, just talk to them. They are really good people and, and uh, they, they love the concept. Uh, and I would guess they would uh, Tell you how this works in Australia as well. I think we need uh, some big residential aged care facilities to spend that money and introduce it into their facilities and see how that helps people with, you know, cognitive impairment or in, yeah, it would be good. I think it could be very useful. Yeah. It sounds uh, to me too like it wouldn't just be people with cognitive impairment. No. It's useful for any older person. I'd enjoy it. <laughs> get, get some exercise and look at beautiful places. Absolutely, Maria. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could uh, I could add that we have we have um, we've started with people with dementia and that that's that's follow us and and it's and it will follow us. 
but we have have uh, people with um, uh, stroke uh, or or um, or um, you know kidney dial dialysis. You call that? Yeah, that's yep. pretty boring when they are in that row sessions, hour for hours, and and they can actually paddle and and see our movies. We have been with um, with younger people, um, so we have a lot of experience with with different uh, kind of challenges. Um, and the key is whatever ha the same thing that happens when we see something on the TV that we recognize. You know, we start pointing, moving towards it, and talk sharing. Oh, I've been there. I I was there. I've seen that. And that's the same thing that happens uh, when they paddle the bike. And let me just add on that. We will be happy to do a free trial if they want to try out the MotiView. It's just an app. You can download it wherever you are on the globe. And we will ha be happy to facilitate that together with you to, to frame it, to see too that it's just not a trial, but also a trial we would, where we can do an easy survey at the end to see if this actually made sense for you. Uh, so we would be happy to do that. That's no problem for us. That sounds amazing. Thank you. Um, Wald, do you mind if I put your contact detail, <clears throat> pardon me, your contact details in um, when I send out the uh, the recording for this meeting? Oh, um, please do. All right, fabulous. Um, if there's no other questions, I'll say thank you so much for coming along to see us today. Um, great to hear how it's all going and how the idea is is spreading. Um, I'll add, like I said, Wild's details um, and email them out to everybody in the net, everybody in the network. Uh, thank you very much all for coming along this afternoon. The recording will be available when I get it up. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, thanks, Roald. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. Kate. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you very.